Hey everyone, Richard Metalfan here, bringing you guys a brand new 2016 album review. And today we're going to be looking into the new album from Dark Throne entitled Arctic Thunder, which came out today through Peaceville Records. Now, some a lot of people should probably know who Dark Throne are. One of the more well-known black metal bands from Norway. I mean, they've been around since probably the late 80s, early 90s. He's one of the, the uh, important names in black metal, along with bands such as like Emperor, Mayhem, Burzum, you know, bands like that. And what sets um, Dark Throne apart from all the other their black metal bands around that time is like th they still have the black metal stuff, but they also change up their style quite a bit with the, some, some of their albums. Like they kind of go for like death metal a little bit and they kind of have like some of the black metal, typical black metal, like with with albums such as like Transylvanian Hunger, Blazing the Northern Sky. Right. And this new album, Arctic Thunder, is the follow up to 2013's uh, The Underground Resistance, which I honestly thought that was a really good album. A lot of people say that's a great album. I, I think it is myself. But with this new album, Arctic Thunder, it kind of sounds like the old school, school uh, Dark Throne, with like some new twists to it. I mean, I mean, it sounds different from the last album. The last album had like kind of like crust punk and also kind of remind me of like. 80s metal metal with bands like King Diamond, Merciful Fate. You can definitely hear that influence on the last album. But um, with a little hints of the first wave of black metal with like um Celtic Frost and stuff like that. And just this album is just it kind of sounds like old school black metal. Like this the production basically sounds like it could have been recorded from the 90s. I mean, the riffs, the fucking riffs are just fresh. I mean, that's one thing I like about this. Just the riffs are like they come up with some really fresh riffs. And just the riffs on this album is just really great from Nocturno Culto. And Fenris just really does really great on the drumming department. But yeah, let's fight, dive into this track by track. Now the album opens up with Tundra Leech, which is also the first single on this album. Which is kind of has a bit of a colder type vibe to it, but with, with some eerie riffs. And and this basically kind of reminds me of a old school Dark Throne with some newer twists in there. Which I thought is a pretty good way to start off this album. Kind of like the opening track and like the first bit of new new dark throne yep then we get to uh burial bliss which is a rather interesting song it kind of sounds like a very arrangement of dsbm them and the drumming from fenris kind of brings like a little bit of a groovy element it's a pretty interesting song rather interesting i should really say um then we get to uh boreal fiends and in my opinion i think this is the best song on this album from it's just riff central on this track it's just like just fast tremolo picking and it's a very favorite song of mine it's a very catchy and i just like how there's like a freaking cowbell in there <laughs> i thought that was pretty awesome um inbred vermin another interesting song kind of like burial bliss but it doesn't sound like like black metal but with a little bit more extreme metal in, in if i my opinion i mean it kind of adds like variety to the album and then we get to uh, Arctic Thunder, the title track, which is a, a headbanging song. It's a very enjoyable with some groovy parts in there. Um, throw me in, the, throw me through the marshes, which is eh, it's an okay song. In here, it's not really my favorite. I mean, that's not not saying it's like bad, but it's okay. Um, then we get to uh, the last two songs, Deep Lake Trespass and the Wyoming Disparate. The, the, the Wyoming distance, sorry, I can't even speak today, which kind of like captures the essence rather well. I mean, and the last the last song, Wyoming distance, pretty much ends the album. It has some very doomy riffs. It's only like the shortest song on there. There, it's like three minutes, but it's overall it's a catchy song. But yeah, overall, Arctic Thunder by Dark Throne. It's a pretty good album. My only complaint is that I feel like it's a little bit shorter. I feel like it could have gone on a little bit longer. But if I were to give this album a score, I'd probably give this like a solid 8.5 out of 10. I would definitely recommend getting this album, but I'm definitely going to get it myself. So yeah, that's my review of the new Dark Throne, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next video, and keep it metal.